What's up, fellow K-pop fans? How's it going, dreamers? I have got a cold, which really freaking sucks and is driving me insane. Anybody understand that problem? Like when you have a stuffy nose and you just can't get it to go away and then it's like runny and stuffy at the same time. Also, I got pulled over by the cops for the very first time ever in my life for speeding. Even though I wasn't really going that fast and he left me, a, he didn't give me a ticket or anything, which was fine. But still, you guys, it was very scary. Anyways, I'm ranting and I didn't even take a drink. In this video, we're going to be checking out Astro just came out with a brand new song called Crazy Sexy Cool, which reminds me of an awesome TLC album called Crazy Sexy Cool. That's got some great songs on there uh, like, cause I creep, yeah, just keeping it on the down low, so nobody is supposed to know. I love TLC, you guys. I have since I was a little kid. Great band. I don't know if Crazy Sexy Cool has anything to do with Crazy Sexy Cool, as in Astro's Crazy Sexy Cool has anything to do with TLC's Crazy Sexy Cool, but it is kind of like it's three words put together that are kind of, I don't know. If it's just a coincidence, it's a weird coincidence. Uh, if it's not a coincidence and they like that album, they like TLC, then they are friggin' even more awesome than they already are because TLC... They are queens, I gotta say. They are friggin' amazing. I love Astro. I like their cute concept. I think it's really cool of them. And I love watching their music videos. They're usually, like, colorful and stuff. Their songs are also really bright, usually. We'll see what this one has. So let's dive into Astro's Crazy Sexy Cool right now. That was cool. Get out of here. It's a little bit creepy. This is a little bit creepy, you guys. <laughs> His glasses. Ooh. Oh, cool. I really like that melody. That's cool. <laughs> That's really cute. Nice and funky. Awesome. <laughs> I love those synthesizers right there. They sound really pretty. Very dreamy sounding. Oh! That was weird. Did it just say dream on the screen? Because that would be weird. <laughs> Man, I really like the groove of this song. It's really cool. 
마냥 귀엽기만 한줄 알았던 너를 가까이에서 보니까 색 달라 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 하루하루 다른 모습에 한번더 봤네 끝까지 난널 잡아 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 Pretty sexy face and body 너에게 반한 순간까지 나는 말이 많이 필요하지 않아 달링 첫눈에 난 반해버린 거야 빨리 <laughs> oh, I, he looks so scared. That's cool looking. Oh my god. What is going on? <laughs> oh, that looks cool. Oh, shit. I hit my motherfucking microphone, bitch. Sorry about the swearing. He's like me? <laughs> That's hilarious. That was cute. Crazy sexy cool. That was friggin' funny, dude. That was a good ending. That's a cool song, man. I really like it. It's very smooth and soft and groovy, which is very awesome, man. I love that kind of a feel. Uh, it doesn't sound like TLC at all, so I don't know. But I guess it's just a coincidence. But man, oh cool, did they do a reaction? I think they did a reaction to their own music video. That's funny. <laughs> I love these guys, man. They're not afraid to be cute and just be themselves. And I think that's super cool of them. Love their vocals on this. The rapping parts were really cool. Those vocals, man. It's like a Michael Jackson, Justin Timberlake kind of... Uh, we got those nice uh, high notes going on in there and stuff. And again, that groove is just awesome. The bass line is... The bass sounds great. There's a little bit of a slap bass thing going on in here. Also, I love the visuals in this music video are really awesome too. It's almost like a Disney thing, you know what I mean? Like a Haunted Mansion Disney kind of concept thing. Also, I like that part. Those glasses. I love that it ended up being a mop at the end. Holy shit. Love the snaps right here. Love those chords on that keyboard. They sound fantastic. I just like the smoothness of it. And there's also a bass right here that sounds really awesome. Like it's got like this wobbly effect to it. It's like whoa, 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 which is really cool. There's a little bit of guitar in there too. Also, I didn't even mention the choreography. The choreography is really awesome too. Love that bass, you guys. Really funky. Okay, so I wanted to mention something. This is kind of perfect for it. Somebody left me in the comments a while ago. I can't remember. I replied back to them. I can't remember the name. Sorry. Um, but we were talking about how sometimes people have a hard time differentiating between uh, falsetto and full voice. So falsetto is like, ah, right? It's like really high. Um, it's a, You're using a different, te it's a different technique basically. Um, and it's not your full voice. And sometimes it is difficult to tell the difference, especially with higher notes, if guys are hitting higher notes. But one of the ways to really tell is just the expression and the power behind it. I, I'm mentioning it because in this part of the song, they're going from full voice to falsetto. They're, it's high notes both ways, but it, it's partially full voice and then they go into the falsetto for the 
that part is falsetto, but then the rest uh, next to it is full voice. Now, the, they're using falsetto there. I think that the guys that are singing that part could hit that full voice, but there's this common misunderstanding that sometimes people think that you only use falsetto because you can't hit those notes, which yes, that's true. There's times where you can do it that way. But if you wanna just have this uh, like a softer tone while you're singing, and you can hit it in falsetto, sometimes you wanna do that because it'll give it a different texture to the song. So I think these guys could hit those notes full voice, but in order to give it a certain uh, smoothness and softness, they're hitting it with their falsetto. So it can also be used as a, it, the technique can be used in order to soften, soften or give it a different sound in the song. So I think that's what they're doing here, which I love. I think it's really cool. And also it's a funky thing too. Like you'll, you'll see singers do that in, you know, funk songs and stuff. It just gives it a funky feeling for some reason. So yeah, that's what they're doing there. I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. And I love that. I think it's really pretty. It just gets you like, oh yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It gets you, it makes you want to move. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I use falsetto a lot while I'm singing. Not a lot, but I mean, I do use it at times. Like if I'm singing funky songs or something or, you know, and I do use it. Actually, I do use it a lot. I'm sorry, you guys. I had a fever yesterday, so I might be all over the place here, but like, I'm in a band with my mother, right? So when I'm doing harmonies with her, I'll often do the higher harmony. And I, you know, so I use my falsetto a lot in, in when it comes to that. Yeah, sure. I do. That's beautiful, man. Their vocals sound so good right there. So easy to love it. Love it, man. You know, it's cool because this song has a lot of power right here, but it's also very soft at the same time. I like it. See, oh, that sounds so good right there. So like right there. Bay, right so ooh, ooh, oh, bay. so they're going from the falsetto right there down to full voice and obviously that part's a little bit lower so you're not going to um, misconstrue that for falsetto but they could be doing ooh, ooh, oh, babe. so they could be hitting that top note right there falsetto but then the next higher note i think they might every once in a while be doing it full voice which is kind of cool again it's just a texture kind of thing it gives it a different um feeling to the song and it switches it up a little bit more you know it's just a it's it's adding color to the vocal kind of you know what i mean which is it's really pretty man I love this part, man. Pretty sexy. I, like, it's just it's awesome flow. <laughs> it's cute. See, and I believe, uh, I think it depends on who's singing that part right there, because I think sometimes they, they they do falsetto for that one part, and then full voice other times. Aww. Pretty saw, man. Great groove and really pretty. I love it, man. Love that. I, I definitely think that's what they're doing. So they do a little bit of falsetto and then the rest is full voice. So, oh, 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 babe. I love it, man. That's really pretty. These guys have such good voices. I love their visuals too. They're just really cute. And again, they're not afraid to just be themselves. They're like, whatever, man. This is whatever. You know, I think that's really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really enjoyed checking this one out. Love the flow of it. Love the groove. If you've already subscribed, thank you so damn much for becoming a dreamer. If you haven't, all you got to do is click that little red button and click the bell so you can get notifications. We really appreciate it. You become one with the Dreamerverse and become part of the family. And uh, I don't know, man. It's just awesome. Dreamers, keep on dreaming. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, I'm young. Ooh, ooh, ooh.